you enjoyed yesterday's show when I explained to you the difference between healthy eating and fat loss eating. And if your goal is fat loss, remember to take your fat burner in the morning before you do your cardio. But today's a weight training day and we've got back, we've got biceps and carbs. So make sure that you do your warm up and I'll see you at the gym. The first exercise that we're gonna be doing for back is a row machine. So find yourself a row machine similar to the one in the picture. You're gonna grab hold of a narrow handle with your legs slightly bent, keep your back straight. You're going to row the bar into your lower portion of your abs, squeeze in your shoulder blades together, and then you're going to release until you stretch out the shoulder blades. You're gonna breathe out on the way in and breathe in on the way back down. Remember, this is just a warm up set. So just do about 10 to 12 repetitions comfortably just to get the fluid into the joints and the blood into the muscles. Once you've done so, we're ready for the first set. So select a heavier weight on the stack, grab hold of the handles, sit back with your legs slightly bent, keep your back straight, and then row the bar into the lower portion of your abs. Remember, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You work in the middle portion of your back now, so this is how the muscles contract. Squeeze, and then you stretch them out. Squeeze, stretch out. Breathe out on the way in, Breathe in on the way back down. Keep your back flat at all times and keep your head up. And you need to be reaching failure at around 10 to 12 repetitions. Once you've done so, do two more sets of this exercise and then we're ready to move on to T-bar rows. So find yourself a T-bar machine like the one that's pictured. You don't have to go into a warm-up set now because you're already warmed up. So put your front flat against the pad, take the bar off the support, and then start rowing the bar in towards your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then stretch them out at the bottom of the movement. Once you've done one set, rest for around 45 seconds, then do two more sets, rest in between. You're going to do a total of three sets of this exercise, resting for around 45 seconds between each set. Once you've done so, we're ready to move on to the new exercise for this week for back, and that's called single arm rows. So find yourself a weight that'll allow you to reach failure at around 10 to 12 repetitions. Place your left leg and your left arm upon a flat bench, such as the one in the picture, and then you're going to row the dumbbell in the opposite hand up towards the side of your waist. You're gonna squeeze at the top, and then you're gonna stretch out at the bottom just to make sure that you get a full range of movement. Go all the way up, squeezing your shoulder blades, and then all the way down. Once you've completed one side, you can now put your right hand and your right leg upon the pad. Keep your back flat at all times and row your left arm up towards the side of your waist. Squeeze and then stretch out. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way back down. Once you've completed 12 reps on both arms, that's one set completed. You're gonna rest for around 45 seconds, do that set again, rest for another 45 seconds, and do that set once more. Once you've done so, back is finished and we're ready to move on to biceps. First exercise for biceps is concentration curls. This is an exercise that you did last week. You're going to sit on a bench. You're gonna place the back of your arm against the inside of your leg like Jim is demonstrating here. You're gonna curl up towards your chest and then back down getting a good stretch. You're just warming up now in this exercise, so do around 10 to 12 repetitions, that's comfortable. Once you've done one arm, you're gonna move on to the other arm. And once you've done that, you're ready to go into the first set. So put those weights back, grab a heavier weight that'll allow you to reach failure at around 10 to 12 repetitions. Place the back of your arm against the inside of your leg. Make sure you keep your back flat, don't round it, and then curl the dumbbell up without using any momentum or any movement within your upper body. When you cannot do one more rep, it's time to move on to the other arm and follow the same procedure. That's one set. You need to be doing three sets in total on this exercise. And when you've done so, we're ready to move on to the spider barbell preacher curls, which is an exercise you also did last week. So make sure the backs of your arms are placed against the vertical portion of the preacher curl bench, and then curl the bar up towards your face, just like Jim is doing here and then you're gonna slowly go back down. Make sure you don't use any momentum or swing from your upper body to make it easier. Squeeze the muscle and stretch it out. You need to be reaching failure at around 10 to 12 repetitions, and when you've done three sets of that exercise, we're ready to move on to the new exercise for biceps this week, which is called Lion Cable Curls. So you can select the weight for your first set. You're going to lie down on a pad, grab hold of a cable that's on a low pulley, and then you're going to lie down and curl the weight up towards your chin. And then you're going to release until your arms go straight down and then back up. You're going to breathe out on the way up, 
and breathe in on the way back down. Keeping your back flat on the floor like this will be perfect for isolation and will stop you from swinging or using any body momentum. You need to do three sets of this exercise, resting for around 45 seconds in between. And when you've done so, we're ready for the last exercise today, and that's for calves, and it's called seated calf press. So find yourself a seated calf press, looking like the one in the picture. You're going to place your thighs underneath the pads and let your heels hang over the foot pads. You're going to stretch your heels down for a full stretch and then you're going to come up onto the balls of your toes to get full contraction. You're going to breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the way back down. Once you've completed your warm-up set, you're ready to go into the first set. You should be reaching failure at around 15 repetitions on this exercise. So put more weight on there now, then you're going to put your feet onto the foot pad again, placing the supportive pad tight against your thighs. You're going to take the bar off the support, and then you're going to slowly lower down and then contract at the top by pushing right through your balls of your feet. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way back down. Make sure you keep your upper body still. And once you reach failure of around 15 repetitions, that's it, we're done. So now you can go and cool down for five to 10 minutes, have your protein shake, and I'll see you back at the office. That was a great workout, wasn't it? So tomorrow is a non-training day. I'm gonna be talking to you about why you should eat fat to lose fat. So wake up in the morning, take your glutamine, do your cardio, and I'll see you here in the office.